from the Sullivan County Sheriff's Office, <laughs> Deputy Mary Hansen. No matter what branch of law enforcement you have out there today, people want a top quality product. They want people who are professional, they want people that are level-headed, that have good moral and ethical values, and that's what we try to put out to the public. Today, we never give up, never give in, never let go. For Pennsylvania deputy sheriffs, there's only one place to go to complete certification, and that is here, the Penn State Justice and Safety Institute, or JAZZY. The 19-week basic training academy improves and teaches skills deputies need to protect and serve the citizens of the Commonwealth. Mr. Saunders, can you exit the vehicle, please? Penn State Jazzy has offered this boss. training academy since 2000, after the state Supreme Court mandated the expansion of deputy sheriff's law enforcement responsibilities. I think there's a huge difference from where we started in 2000 to, to where it's at now. Um, that's part of all parties, including us, learning. Uh, I think it's improved dramatically uh, because we constantly seek to improve the program and improve the experience for the deputies. They're sacrificing a lot of time and we want to make sure that time is used productively. Sheriffs from all 67 counties are required to send their new deputies for either an 80-hour waiver course or the 760 hours of basic training. I tell them to come up here, do your best, be safe, and, uh, and just please, please accept with a positive attitude, a good 19-week program. Within the nearly five-month period, deputies are given a wide range of training from firearms, defensive tactics, and crime scene investigation to first aid, courtroom procedures, and yoga. There are a lot of different jobs that I've not had any kind of exposure to before coming up here that I'll now be more ready to handle and it really prepares you for what you'd have to do. Academy Director Bob Stonis attributes that understanding to his diverse team of instructors. We have municipal police officers, judges, lawyers, state police officers, people from corrections, from probation and parole. So they really do get a well-rounded education learning different aspects of the criminal justice system. Jazzy has trained thousands of deputies in partnership with the Pennsylvania Commission on Crime and Delinquency and its Deputy Sheriff's Education and Training Board. The board has even paved the way for deputies to earn credits toward a college degree. By creating the, the course that, uh, of study that is here, it has allowed these people to make a career path and a choice to where they are of uh, accredited law enforcement agencies within the Commonwealth. And I think that's important to a young person, or a person coming in to want to be a deputy sheriff for the simple fact that uh, it allows them to look at where they're at, where they can be down the road. Can they aspire to be a uh, sheriff of a county or could they aspire to be a police chief somewhere with the education and the background that we give them? You have to make sure you have that mental focus that you're going to pass these tests. Right now, the Jazzy staff is working on using less traditional teaching methods and implementing more problem-based learning. It's more of an adult-based learning uh, methodology, being given the fact that all the deputies coming in are adult learners of uh, varying ages. We find it a little bit easier for them to absorb material than just do the standard PowerPoint or lecture. That's the real benefit because you're getting not only just theory, you're getting anecdotal information and you're getting anecdotal uh, uh, practical applications of the theory. We're on the cutting edge as far as the instruction and I think that we'll be the go-to academy for the other academies in Pennsylvania to make their programs better. Each year, Penn State Jazzy conducts the three 19-week training programs and five two-week two, waiver three. programs for deputies right. with previous police training. For more information on the Penn State Justice and Safety Institute, visit them on the web. For Penn State Outreach, I'm Jamie Pratt.